So I'm visiting relatives up here in the Redwoods, and I brought my pea tunic project with me to finish in my spare time while I'm up here. Now, one thing I had mentioned in the previous video is when you're putting your edging or your trim on, you want this to be open because it's difficult to work with a closed loop. Now with our collar, we have the problem that by default, it's effectively a closed loop. So how do we get around that difficulty? We're not going to be folding it over, then folding it over again. And because of that, our strip for the edging here is a lot thinner. What we're going to be doing is just cringing it right there at one edge. <clears throat> and then folding that over the edge. The reason you don't want to fold it like that and then go over a second time is because you bring the whole of the collar out too much and then it's too big. But we are going to be doing a fell stitch. However, instead of trying to pierce through the leather and the fabric and all that because it's incredibly thin and it's going to be hard to get all of it consistently, we simply go over the top of it. So I'm going to come in and I'll do one more stitch for this clip to make sure that it's understood that we're doing the same fell stitch. But instead of going through anything, we're going over the top of everything. Another thing to note here is that you don't want to accidentally form a knot when you go over. You don't want to cross under your string. That will end up wasting thread if you do that consistently and it will give the whole bead of it a tendency to turn in. Now in the process of doing edging you might run into a problem of not having enough length and that's most likely to happen on the collar or on the bottom edge and the simplest solution is just to cut a new length of edging overlap it for two whole stitches and just keep going the fancier solution something I did on the bottom part of this is to do something like a split And if you do a split, you're also going to want to cut out a, a square, maybe make the bottom rounded, and stitch that on to cover up your ends. And that's just a batch. So now we're going to want to make the lace holes. We're going to start by having the front of the collar pulled far up above the back of the collar. We're going to make a tiny puncture mark in this corner. We're just going to put a little snip running that way and a little snip running that way. We're also going to snip up And we're going to snip down. So I'm going to be using my thickest thread here. And you might want to use a yarn if you have that available to you. And come up through the bottom by the corner. And then I'm going to go directly back down into it like this. Then I'm going to come up again. And then I'm going to go back down. 
then I'm going to come up again and go back down again. Repeating that. And now that I've met that edge there, I'm going to come back up through the second hole that I had made and go down through the third hole I had made. I'm going to come back up through the fourth hole that I made and go back down through the fifth hole that I had made. I'm going to keep with this sort of trying to make one solid line that is somewhat circular around the edge like that at which point the work then consists of coming on the outside of the solid line that I've made going through my hole and then coming back up a small step over on the outside again and going back through my hole again. I'm going to repeat this all the way around it. And the end result of that is a lace hole. Now you can go around it a few more times. You can even slip the needle through like that around the edge a couple times. But if you're happy with the look of yours, you can just go ahead and snip it right there. I'm going to be doing that to all of these. So this is what the finished holes for the lace look like. So the only thing left to do here is to do the edges. We're going to put the edges together like this. We're going to do a running stitch. I'm going to start off by going just through both of them, up through both of them, and then back down through the first hole. And that will cinch this in place, and I'm going to come up through the second hole. And the good thing about the running stitch is you can do several at once. You can just pinch the fabric and push it through pinch the fabric, push it through, pinch the fabric, push it through, and then just pull the needle through like this. And so I'm going to go ahead and do that all the way down to the bottom, and I'm going to finish the same way I started.